In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and share a calendar in your Outlook web app. So the first thing you need to do is sign in to your email or Office 365 account at outlook.com slash EMS dash ISD.net. And you'll see that it opens up to your email, but I need to switch over to the calendar view by clicking the calendar link in the upper right hand corner. This is similar to creating a calendar in Outlook, um, but it's just slightly different. So I wanted to go ahead and create a separate video for that. You'll notice that my list of calendars is over in the, in the far left hand corner at the bottom. You'll see I've got my regular calendar, my IT everything calendar, and the planning calendar that I just created. You'll notice that at the top, they're coming up like this and they're overlaid so that I can see the different events in one space. If I want to turn some of them off, I can just click this little X or I could come down and uncheck something. To create another calendar, I right click on the blue My Calendars label in the bottom left hand corner of my screen and I choose New Calendar. I'm going to call this IT Planning Calendar. And it's as simple as that to create it. I'm going to turn this one on, turn this one off, so we just see this one. This is the IT planning calendar. If I want to add an event, I just double click into the day. And I could even put in my attendees or whoever I wanted to. I don't actually need to put in attendees because I am going to put this on a calendar and then share the calendar out with everyone. You'll see I've got lots of details. I can put in information if I wanted to and I can click save. You'll see that that appears on my calendar. Now in order to save the calendar with others, I need to right click on it and choose share calendar. When I do that, I just put in the names of the people I want to share with. So there's Lisa. And here's Deanne, and you can just go through and you can find them. You'll notice that a small box comes up next to their name, and I can give them full details, which means they'll be able to see everything on the calendar, or I could give them editor access, which means they could edit or delete or add to the calendar. So in this case, I want to give both of, um, both of these ladies editor access. If this was a calendar I was creating just simply to share out for other people to have the information, and not be able to edit, I would leave it on full details. I can change up the subject if I wanted to. If I wanted to choose another calendar, maybe I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing, I could, but I'm going to leave it on IT planning calendar. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit send. They will get an email with instructions on how to save that calendar. And then they can start editing right away.